This is actually a night vision rifle scope. Mike Green. But you can use it as a viewer. Is about to go hunting. As you can see, it's got a whopper of a lens After on it. After a career spent exposing hoaxes. And that's just recording heat. Green is trying to prove that this one. You gotta love gadgets in this business. Isn't. I testify in court as an expert on forgery. Video out right here. For 20 years, I was chief of a uh, fraud investigation unit for the state of New Jersey. We've clued out, and hopefully they're watching us right now. Home sweet home. He took us to the Uari National Forest. Everything interesting has happened right here. Where he says, Okay, we're off. He's seen Sasquatch before. You okay back there? He was out here about a year and a half ago. And in the middle of the night, I was awakened by what I call Darth Vader breaths. Great, I mean, that's really what it sounded like. Great big, <sighs> too big breaths right over my head. In this here, in the food container. He showed us what he then did. This is a game cam. To try to get video of it. I put it right here, and we take this, and we do that. We hope that he's gonna take this lid off and go, oops, and we're gonna get a full face shot of it. I've been trying to capture this on film for a year. Green did get a shot. I had seen one almost exactly a year before down there. That night's 18 months ago. Is that white? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's its head. What you're seeing here is really the first comprehensive thermal image of a Sasquatch. And it's the best, it's the best that's been taken in 40 years. Even though it's, I admit that's blurry. Green put a candy bar on a stump that night to attract the Squatch. Now you're going to see his right arm reach up and take the candy bar right about now. There he goes. You see a big, white, seven and a half, eight foot tall thing come out of the woods and grab the candy bar and leave and then come back and sway back and forth a little bit. It can't be anything else. I mean, it literally can't be anything else. Not that he hasn't heard all the possibilities all the time. from the skeptics. Well, it's just a guy in a, in a fat suit or a ghillie suit. The heat signature, which is what you're looking at here, is nothing but heat. The heat signature would be completely different. It would be splotchy. You'd see lines where things like the face and the hands were hotter. You could put a guy in a Bigfoot costume and fool night vision because you, that's just a, like a video camera. But if you put a thermal imager on him, it's going to look completely different. Green believes that the clear heat signature that you see on this thermal image and swing and back and forth. is something you couldn't fake. Now on this swing, you're going to see his right arm will separate right there from his body a little bit. It has him convinced it's Bigfoot. Uh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. Now we're recording that image. But even he and the rest of the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization. And I just walk up. Like this. Are baffled that they don't have better proof after all these years. We have in the BFRO maybe 200 game cams out looking for squatches. Haven't gotten one lousy picture of a Sasquatch, which doesn't make any sense unless you think that maybe these things are so smart that they either see the game cam, and some of these game cams are very well hidden, or they can hear or sense electromagnetic radiation like some other animals can. Until that day when someone finally gets that money shot. There's the tent right there. You'll have to believe this okay. lifelong fraud investigator Put this face down. That the Sasquatch that is, is no fraud. Around. And what he saw that well, night. that sit there all night long. Was the real thing. Absolutely, unequivocally, no doubt what it was to me anyway. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News.